Did yeah. you see the Camry? Update? Oh, okay. I have to talk to you about this because I actually You're driving the TRD <laughs> Camry. Is I was sitting in traffic yesterday on the way to LA, hanging out the window, taking pictures of a lowered with exhaust TRD Camry yeah. of the same vintage. Dude, the TRD Camry I'm driving is thirty two thousand hmm. dollars. It is so cheap. That is way cheaper than I was expecting. If you asked me how much it was, and I didn't look at the sticker, I'd be like, eh, yeah, forty. I'd say forty five. Yeah. Wow. Thirty two thousand fucking dollars. It costs nothing. That's one of the most, I think, fairly priced cars <laughs> I've heard of in the last couple of years. I, Everything's I like, so expensive oh, right shit, now. Are you kidding me? This is really, really cheap. So explain it. It's the T R D do they the have TRD a pro? What? Is this the maxed out one, or is there a There's pro? There's no pro. The TRD pro. 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 Okay. The, the, I'm not sure. The TRD pro is for Baja. That's the Baja one. TRD right. pro. Right. <laughs> Baja Camry. Lift kit. Yeah. <laughs> Safari Camry. Um, no, it's it's so you get an exhaust. Uh, you might get a tune, but I don't know. You get springs, and possibly sway bars. You get wheels and a, and a body kit. That's what you get. And, but the the it's the same. It's a three hundred and one horsepower, three point five liter V six. Okay, yeah. so it's the same engine as the normal car. Correct. And I think that's also three hundred and one horsepower. Correct. But it's got a it's lot got of angles on it and a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I I got it. I intentionally got it. I asked for it. I didn't. They weren't like, please take this. I asked for it, and I asked for it because I was I had a hypothesis that after driving all the Supras that the TRD Camry would be like a more authentic Toyota than the Supra. And? I don't necessarily think, well, I, I do, but it, unfortunately it's not really a good, a good thing. The, the thing is about it is it's, it's such a good value for like the space and the quality. And it's front wheel drive still? It is front wheel drive. And, uh, but, they could add a couple little things, not really add anything to the price, very little to the price, and really make it much better. There's some real shortcomings to it. Okay, let's hear it. The transmission tune is horrible. Well, I knew that from the base car. Right. Like, the paddles are actually reasonably responsive, but if you put the auto lever into sport mode does it go s4 yes all the time what is with it what does that even mean i don't know i can't figure i it don't out. understand but it but as you as you're accelerating in sport mode it does shift a little higher than it does in regular mode but as you slow down it doesn't downshift it just stays in fifth or sixth or seventh or eighth all the way until like an old school hydraulic based automatic transmission can like it not, match or does it drag it drags but it doesn't drag like horribly it drags if if it downshifted the way it downshifted manually automatically also it would be fine so it's purely software it's purely a software problem it would cost them nothing to fix it also the seats are like anti sporty but they give you a unique fabric and embroidery and shit. Like I really feel like if they used a different seat, like out of the out of the '86, or so, somehow found found a way to homologate a sportier seat, that would go a long way. And I don't know if the, like I suspect that this car I'm driving had a lot of track miles put on it before because either the brakes are really soft. And a big brake kit should be an option, or this fluid's been boiled a couple times and it's oh. just, just well, who's spongy. Who's tracking a TRD camera? Oh, magazine. I don't know. Everybody. Magazine. Everybody yeah. who asks for the press car beats the fucking balls. Well, I, I knew the that. Tires, much, yeah. The tires appear to have experienced racing. Oh, okay, they're a little sidewall. They're a little <laughs> sidewall marbly. Yeah. But, like, it's so cheap that I don't even want to crap on it. But the things they could do to make it actually great. Could still probably keep it under thirty five thousand bucks. Oh yeah, and at that price, like they should do that. So what about the Avalon TRD? Because <laughs> that's I've never driven one, but I saw you know Doug made a video yeah. and a lot of people watched. My press so club has one, and I've requested, so I, we'll see. I mean, I don't really know. 
I don't know anything about them. I do know what I know about the Avalon. The Avalon was the last car you could buy in America with a bench seat. Yep, the bench seat. Is it still a bench seat? No, but it was the last one. It was. My uncle with his bad hip was fucking all about (laughs) the thing. I gotta wonder, like, is this the most obvious example of just wanting some kind of bad bad recognition that you haven't just given in to, like, domestic life? Because a Camry is such a wonderful, commuting, decent sedan. And the Avalon Avalon is too. And now you're like, no, no, we're going to make this the fast one. It's like, it's not, because it's not any faster, right? It's the same engine. It's not. So it's more of like an appearance package. It looks a little, it has an attitude to it. Here's the thing, though. That exhaust that's on there, it really makes it sound like the Lotus. Well, it's the same engine under It is. It is. And if you keep it in, in manual mode and keep the thing spun up over like four grand, I, sh- I shit you not, it's fast. So everyone it's legitimately look on the streets, fast. Like on the streets for Matt at 5,500 RPM cruising in the Dude, cameras. it's legitimately fast. If you keep the thing wound, it's fast and it sounds like the Lotus and I and you almost are going, I can I can just smell the whiff of motorsport to this. Like it's really the engagement of it is very good up at the top. But the, the automatic does not want it to be there under any circumstances. So given the price uh, value, Supra or TRD Camry? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of how we started, by the way. If you want a Toyota, you should buy the Camry. Well, okay, so your hypothesis is that the Camry is more Toyota than the Supra. Yeah. I would agree with yeah, that. Yeah, I think 